In this short video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to disable access to CyberHive Connect's trusted area network. Our organization, BlueSun, are using CyberHive Connect to establish secure, zero trust communication directly between approved endpoints. On the right hand side of this diagram, you can see Zoe's PC. This is the endpoint that will be temporarily suspended from accessing the network. In the second half of this video, I'll also show you how we can permanently delete access to the network from this endpoint. I'll first demonstrate that Zoe is able to reach other endpoints on our network by pinging Blue Sun Server 1. And you can see from the results of the ping test, the server is responding immediately. Now imagine that Zoe went to a meeting in London today and travelled by London Underground. Reaching the office where the meeting is held, Zoe notices the laptop computer is not in its bag as expected. Fearing the worst, Zoe immediately contacts the IT department to let them know. The systems administrator now needs to prevent access to the network as soon as possible. In this case, they simply need to disable access to the network using the CyberHive Connect control service. By clicking on the toggle shown here, the systems administrator is asked to confirm the action and that will disable access to the network. Back on our overview diagram, you can see the red bar now shows that Zoe's PC has been unapproved. If Zoe's PC did attempt access to the network, we can see from this ping test that it would be unsuccessful. You can also see in the window at the top left of the screen that the CyberHive Connect client service has also stopped on this endpoint. You can see that even clicking on the start service button, the service briefly shows a status of running, then it immediately stops again because access to the trusted area network has been revoked. When Zoe gets back home, the laptop computer is sitting there on the kitchen table. So feeling very relieved, a quick call is made to the IT department who are able to immediately restore access to the network for Zoe's PC. All that is required is a small change using CyberHive Connect's control service. Simply click in the toggle to approve the endpoint and click in approve in the dialog box. We then restart the service on the PC and within just a few seconds, it's once again possible to run a ping test and confirm we can reach the server again. Of course, if the PC wasn't found or if for any reason Zoe's PC is no longer required to access the network, the systems administrator can permanently revoke its access. To do that, they simply click on the red delete icon shown here on the endpoints tab of the control service in the row where Zoe's PC is listed. Then confirm that they wish to delete the endpoint from the trusted area network. That device has now been permanently removed from the network and will no longer have access to any of Blue Sun's systems or services. Referring back to our now updated Blue Sun organization diagram, you can see that Zoe's username and endpoint have been permanently removed from the network. If you would like to find out more about how CyberHive Connect can help you to simplify administrative tasks, reduce the attack service of your organization's network, or remove traditional VPN bottlenecks, please reach out using the links shown here. Thank you for watching.